Hiya, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today we are going to be doing a Halloween card. I thought that it would still be fun to do something that's kind of halloween -y and a gesture towards it with colour and also these little stamps here, the Technique Tuesday little monsters and I thought that would just be quite a cute kind of uh, nod towards Halloween. So here we go, let's get crafting. Okay, so I've got a piece of the Stamping Up Very Vanilla cardstock here. I thought it'd be nice to do it on the creamier colour. And I've got the stamps. Now what I want to do is pick them up in the same position as they are, these three, as they are on the mat here. But it might not work just because what they've done is they've put like a cellophane at the back when they have the plastic at the back you can make the um, little stamps stay stuck to the back piece rather than the bit that they're normally stuck to and then you can keep them in position but oh, we're not doing too bad I think okay let's just do that and put my little stamper over and grab hold of those three if we can because we had to make sure that it was the um, obviously the line side up we didn't want to have it the wrong way up and try and stamp and it wouldn't work so I'm going to use my archival ink here it's jet black and I'll just ink these up. I think these are so adorable. And I want this kind of down the bottom part of my page because I want above it my sentiment. So just make sure that these have really pushed down so that you get all the elements stamped there we go oh hasn't that come out great look at that fabulous okay and then I'm gonna get my sentiment stamp here which says little monsters and again this is in two words which is quite helpful actually because it means you could separate how you do them. So I'm going to pop those like so. Okay, so we kind of lined that up. So we'll just pop that down, pick that up. Now I want to do that in this lovely mossy meadow because I'm going to be using that as part of my card so let's just get so it's stamping up mossy meadow and then I'm just gonna stamp off so that we'll get some of the color you know because it's so strong because it's such a new ink pad And I like the fact that I didn't quite stamp it off evenly so what it means is that some parts of this will be darker than the others and I think that's going to be quite cool. There we go. Then I picked up this little one here that says, where has it gone? Up here that says eek. I think I just want to pop that in and I'm doing that in the new colour. The basic grey so I'm interested to see how that stamps I think well I think it's the new old color cause it... okay and then we want to pop that just kind of in here and there we go so I think that looks really cool Okay, so we're going to put this to one side for a minute and let that dry. Okay, so I have pre-cut a piece of this gorgeous 
card stock which is I believe the basic grey but it didn't have an ink pad before but I'm not sure so again with all of this the best thing is to click the link below and it will have all the details um, because I'll have worked it out by then <laughs> and what I did was I did I cut along the length of the card and then I scored it in half to create my A5 um, card but side folding because I thought that would just be something a little different this is the mossy meadow which is to go with the little monsters there and I've put that just about an eighth of an inch smaller than my A5 card so those two are pre-done so what I need to do next is take my piece of mossy meadow and I want to run it through my Sizzix and emboss it and I've got this great embossing folder here that has got tire tracks and footprints and I thought the tire tracks would be really cool for the little monsters so it's just about there so that the corners are the bits that you can see the actual tire tread from now obviously for the embossing I can't use my magnetic plate so what we want is your normal um, platform and you want tab number one but if because these are thicker because they're spellbinders ones if it doesn't work then you may find that you need to change that up a bit but anyway for the moment let's see how we go so we've got tab one an acrylic plate my mat and uh, my embossing folder and then another acrylic plate so let's just see if this all go through no that's too thick seems to be going through okay so we've got it on just tab no tabs oh but still quite tough okay so just bring that out it was just a little bit thick even with zero plates on but anyway it's come out really nicely that I must say uh, wrong way up that's the right way up so that's that piece done so now we want to just color in our little monsters so I have got the stamping up right pens and this is a set of five, the In Colour collection for, well, not this year's one, but the year before. So it's still current, but it's going out at the end of this year. Because he's not afraid to love me, so I am I. I picture everything going smooth as can be, but that's a lie. And it always ends up that it's always my fault Cause I always mess up and it's you that I call Who forgot to mention that love isn't always a walk in the park Who misplaced the memo and now you've got me wandering around in the dark I don't wanna go very far from you You gotta know that I'm learning to and get back up oh, He's the only one I want to be with That's not the problem It's more up, it's too far And who's gonna drive the car? Hashtag pretty little lips To these pretty little fits And better days Bad ones, but we have only happened to once. Who forgot to mention that love isn't always a walk in the park? Who misplaced the memo? And now you've got me wandering around in the dark. I don't wanna go very far from you. You got it.
gonna stick this layer down using some cosmic shimmer. When you've got embossing, you really need to use a wet glue because what happens is there's dips and valleys and if you don't have a wet glue, it just um, doesn't stick properly. It will come off pretty easily. Okay. So let's pop that down like so. So that's our emboss piece. I think that looks stunning. Okay, and now what we need to do is we need to cut out my stamped piece, which there we go. So there's that piece cut. I think that looks really cool. They're so cute. And what that means is that once we've just put our grey piece around as a mat, you're still going to see quite a bit of our embossing, which is fabulous. So I've cut my little monsters here to approximately three inches to by four. It's only roughly, I think it's a little bit out of now and then because I really just did it by how it looked. And then I did this about an eighth bigger just so we had a little margin around the edge there just to give that a nice base so now I'm going to take my cosmic shimmer glue and then just very gently pop that in position onto the grey piece. Done. So that looks good. And now we're going to pop that onto here like so. And for that I'm going to pop it up onto my 3D gel. Because I think it could do with just that bit of height. And the 3D gel will help it stick nicely to that embossing as well so it's a bonus all the way and as you can see I put plenty on I don't want it dipping making sure it's opening to the right side and then just popping that into the centre there I just think that's so adorable and then I know this is actually part of the Christmas button set from Stampin' Up but it's got the stamps that are Mossy Meadow and I just thought it would be really nice just to put um, stamps, buttons, a nice button just in the corner there just with a bit of um, baker's twine going through and then onto the other side just a little bit of our glue gel like so and I think that just finishes that off really nicely and I've just left it blank on the inside but you could put happy birthday or whatever it's just really cute so I hope you've enjoyed making this inverted commas Halloween card with me I think it could be for all sorts of occasions actually and I actually personally would probably put a happy birthday inside I think it's a really cute card and I'm really pleased with how it turned out I hope you like it too so thanks so much for watching and I will see you again soon bye for now bye he says he's not afraid to love me so I am I I picture everything going smooth as can be but that's a lie 
it always ends up that it's always my fault Cause I always mess up and it's you that I